I recently posted on Thingiverse this uh, walking robot toy. One of the things I designed into it was a battery box in the head with an integrated switch. The switch and the battery box are all 3D printed. So I decided to uh, build a standalone version of that battery box and post it to Thingiverse. And this video will show how to assemble that. There are two versions of a battery box. One has a single cell CR2032 in it, and the other one has a dual cell connected in series. Here it is uh, all built up a single cell one with a LED attached for testing. It works by simply pulling this out to turn it on and pushing it back in to turn it off. The the electrical contacts are made from a number one paper clip uh, that allows you to just use dew point connectors to do the uh, connecting. Or you can solder to them if, if the paper clips you choose uh, will take solder. I'll show how to uh, assemble it now. These are the parts you need to uh, assemble it. There are a battery box. This cap, or yeah, I guess you would call it a cap. The slider. And this jig for bending. The one of the electrical contacts. And this jig for bending the other electrical contacts. We'll start with this for the assembly. The number one paper clip. One end will fit into the jig like this. The, or at least the ones I have do. So we need to uh, start at that end and cut straighten this out. So we have that. And then trim the top part off to the length. Hard to do this on camera. So but it fits in there like this. Doesn't have to be exact. Now we're gonna use the screws. These are three millimeter screws. Focus. We're gonna use the screws as to, to hold our radius when we bend it. We'll just bend it around this one. And then back around that one, and it should all fit like this. And we can pull it out of a jig, hopefully. And cut the end of it off about like that, it's not critical. This will give our contactor for the top of the box. Now we need to put it in the box. It's meant to slide in. Like this. There's a slot in the bottom and in the top. Get it started. Once you get it started, set it on something flat, push it all the way down. And you can do some adjusting if you have to. Probably help to at this point bend this down just well, first make sure it's straight. And then bend it down just to take just a little bit. Not much. That's the top contactor. Now we'll put the slider in. The slider is a dovetail joint. Just goes in like this. It, this little bend 
should drop below the slider when it's backed out. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Now we need to bend the yellow wire. That's what this jig is for. It doesn't work quite as well as a jig for a top contactor. What you need to do is straighten out one of the number one paper clips, bend a 90 degree angle in it for a start, or approximately 90 degrees. There's a hole in this uh, jig that we'll start with. There are two jigs, one for the single cell and one for the uh, dual cell. Put it in there so it extends out the back. I have a best luck when I hold it with pliers. Then you're just going to start bending it around the radius. We have to over bend it. Once you get it bent around the radius, cut it to length. It's approximately the end of this of this uh, jig. Get it pretty close. Hopefully that'll fit in our box now. The box has a trough in the bottom. It's hard to see, but there are holes in the side also. Thread it through the hole into the trough. Oh, that's the wrong side. Let it through a hole into the trough and hook it over the top. We have to do some tweaking. Like I say this jig doesn't work as well as the other one. You can see it just barely sticks out the other side. I'll bend that down a little more. This camera doesn't focus well to say the least. Maybe it's focusing now. Now we just need to put the cap on the top and we'll be done. Cap just slides in like this. The purpose of a cap is to capture the slide so that it doesn't come out all the way. And it also holds this contactor here in place. And we just put two screws in it. Well one would probably hold it if you put it on the side of the contactor. Our number are three millimeter screws by about uh, probably eight eight millimeters. Six would probably work. Three by six would probably work well. Now we're ready to test it with our uh, little test light. Now we need to put the batteries in first. Put the batteries in. Slide them. Slide them in. Flat side up. So that's the positive side. And just all the way back. You can see the way the contactor is allowed to make contact with the top of the batteries now. That's off. Let's put our test light on. The center terminal is the positive terminal. I 
and the other one is the negative terminal. You can trim that to any length you want. Hopefully it'll work. And it does. That's really all there is to it. The only difference between the single cell and the uh, dual cell is the main battery box part, the cap, and the slider are the same. Although this is an older version of the slider. It doesn't have this bump on it. And the, this jig is the same. But there are two different jigs for bending the other one, the other contactor. One of them is a little bit shorter. You can see. So just pick the one you need for whichever one you're going to build. I hope somebody finds this useful. Thank you.